inductee Laura Collins will be presented by her husband, Jed Collins. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Jed Collins, and I have the unique and distinct pleasure of introducing my wife, Laura Collette Collins. And I wanted to briefly summarize some of our athletic accomplishments, which are certainly great. To give you some perspective and share a little insights about Laura, I thought I'd just break down her career into a couple sections. One is here at Lowellton Hall, two is her college years at Yale University, and three, her post-going years when she played for the Boston Ren Renegades. Mm -hmm. Starting out at Lowellton Hall, Laura uh, was active in cross country and tennis, and ironically, another inductee today, Mr. Gilbert, saw Laura running across the uh, campus one day, I think what I'm told, uh, late for a carpool for her mother, <laughs> and uh, knocked on uh, the car and said, we'll see you at practice tomorrow. <laughs> so off her career as a cross-country athlete started, and really, I think, helping seed, plant the seeds for her career. As she progressed through high school, she won all league and all county honors multiple times in both cross-country and tennis and she ended her career at Laurelton as both the captain of cross country and tennis. <coughs> Although Laurelton did not have a soccer team at the time, she had a burning desire to play soccer. She played club soccer locally, and she also was a <laughs> member of the Connecticut Olympic Development Soccer Team. In addition to athletic, Laura excelled at academics. She was a Connecticut High School Scholar Athlete. She graduated as salutatorian of her senior class, and more recently, Laurelton bestowed on her in 2005 the Claven Award. In 1998, Laura matriculated to Yale University, where she was captain of the varsity soccer team. In 1991, team MVP and Ivy League Player of the Year, a first in Yale University history. She graduated as second leading scorer in Yale history and was the only player in Yale history to have her number retired to this date. She was a multi-year winner of all Ivy, all New England, and all American awards. And she was recognized as one of the top 30 female soccer players in the country her senior year. And lastly, for her last award at Yale, in 1999, she was one of the top two Yale women soccer players at the Yale Silver Anniversary Award, which recognizes the top two women in 25 years of women's sports at the Ivy League. So quite a list at Yale. I had the fortunate opportunity to call Laura my bride in 1994, and we embarked on a, a continued athletic uh, career for her. She, uh, in, in 1996, she began playing for the Boston Renegades, which is a semi-professional team, the W League, which happened to be the forerunner to the Women's Professional Soccer League. She was one of the leading scorers and often was asked to play in their all-star game. And more importantly, as Christine said, she acted as a role model in my mind and was often conducting youth clinics and signing autographs on the sidelines. With us today, Brendan, Christopher, and Ryan, and she is an incredible mother as well. Well, you might think that Laura's career is done, mm -hmm. but it's not. She, uh, she still loves sports and, and thrives on it. She plays Division I. Uh, soccer at the Eastern Mass Women's Soccer League and while she uh, is over 40 at this day she's playing with 20 something still and I think she's still in my mind anyway the best on the team. She also is uh, plays tennis and can be seen running uh, the half marathon each and every year. So soccer, tennis, and running live through her blood still. So without further ado I'd like to introduce what the boys and I call the queen of our house <laughs> Certainly my best friend, love of my life, and simply a great athlete. Laura Valet Collins. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Don't make me cry, Jed. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, and uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Tony and Laurelton for this magnificent honor, and congratulations to this year's fellow honorees, Nora, Eileen, Mary, uh, Sister Peggy, and Mrs. Yardley, my Latin teacher here at Laurelton. <laughs> I am truly honored to be recognized with these outstanding inductees, and how wonderful to have Christine Lilly also present this afternoon. Uh, I was fortunate to play with Christine on the Connecticut State team before she was swooped up to the national team to begin her illustrious career. Simply amazing accomplishments in this room. And I am thankful to my coaches through the years, Mrs. Healy, who is here today, and Mr. Gilbert, who we are also honoring tonight. Had he not recruited me to his cross-country team as I sprinted around the mansion, late as usual, as Jed mentioned, to meet my carpool, I would not be standing here before you today. His lessons of mental and physical preparation, leadership, teamwork, and most importantly, having fun while competing and training have stuck with me through the years. I'm sure he's cheering us on from above as he always did with his endless supporting shouts to all of his runners. So since there was not a soccer program while I was a student at Laurelton, I kept fit with miles on the road and workouts on the tennis court. The changes in the athletic program since my graduation from Laurelton are remarkable. From the outstanding athletic facilities and fields to the many varsity sports now available. I'm pleased to witness the increased opportunities for young women in sports and I'm so proud of the successes that Laurelton and its athletes have achieved. And as an athlete, it takes much more than inner drive and perseverance to be successful. My accomplishments would have been impossible without the love and support of my family. I am forever grateful to my parents for never missing a game, home or away, while I was at Yale, or traveling up and down the East Coast and neighboring Canada to watch me play for the Boston Renegades. Now, as a parent myself, I am able to more truly appreciate all they've done for me and continue to do. So thank you. And I'd also like to thank my husband, Chad. We certainly made quite a team, especially now of parents of three boys, Christopher, Brendan, and Ryan. And I marvel at his continued dedication to our family from following my athletic events for over 20 years and to now mentoring and coaching our boys. And again, thank you to Laurelton and all those responsible for putting this beautiful afternoon together. I am truly blessed to have had the opportunity to experience the Mercy tradition and feel very fortunate to have built upon it while in the classroom, at the workplace, and on the road, soccer field, or tennis court. I could never have done it without the love, support, and encouragement of my wonderful family. I love you guys. Thanks.